Hi, my name is Mike, and I'm from Albany, New York. I'll never forget the day I became terrified of Donald Trump's America. It was April of 2016, right in the heart of primary season. John Kasich was in my hometown, and he was holding a small rally. I decided to attend. There was maybe two, 300 people there at most, um, but I left so energized. Here was a moderate Republican who spoke like a leader and was running on a platform that pushed for unity and the respect of all people. Unfortunately, right down the road from Kasich's rally, Donald Trump was also in town, and he was preaching a very different message. It was one that was centered on division and hate. I remember turning on the TV when I got home, horrified, to see an arena filled to the brim with thousands of ugly people in red MAGA hats, chanting loudly things like, lock her up and build a wall, while also starting fights and violent outbursts in the crowd that were met with cheers, including from Donald Trump himself. While I knew that morally I could never vote for someone like Donald Trump, I also knew I didn't align with Hillary Clinton. So once it became clear to me that Trump was going to win the primary, I just basically decided not to participate in the general election, and I wrote in a candidate instead. Looking back on that day in April, that was a preview of what was coming for us. For the last four years, I've continued to watch in horror as Donald Trump treats the Oval Office like his latest reality TV show, constantly spreading misinformation, negativity, and whatever else he feels like is going to get him the most retweets on Twitter. The last few months have really opened my eyes up to just how much destruction this man is capable of, especially when we need him the most. Instead of listening to our scientists and public health experts, including some on his own team, Trump has instead spewed dangerously misguided and just completely wrong information, while also time and time again downplaying what is the biggest pandemic that any of us have ever experienced. As a result, we're likely to see a death toll surpassing 200,000 Americans by the end of October. This was a preventable tragedy. The death toll should never have been this high. I realize now I must be stronger this November. I'll be voting for Joe Biden, not because we align politically, but just because he's a decent man. He'll listen to the experts around him, and most importantly, he's not Donald Trump. Enough is enough, America. Let's vote out this guy in November. Let's vote for Joe Biden, and let's get back on the right track for this country.